Welcome back to our YouTube channel, guys. My name's Ardil, and today's video is a behind the sound episode all about a Lamborghini Urus that we're absolutely transforming the sound system on. But today's video is solely focusing on the actual custom A pillars housing something called an Audison Thesis tweeter. Let's get into it. But before we get on to today's video, make sure you guys at home have subscribed to our YouTube channel because we've got a massive competition live on our channel at the moment. We're giving away a brand new PlayStation 5 as well as an Audison Prima amplifier. All the details are in the description below. However, let's get on with today's video. You would have seen in previous videos, we're not using the factory location on the Lamborghini Urus. We're building something called a custom A-pillar and I have one in my hand from the vehicle, but what actually is it and what are the advantages of having something like this done? This involves a hell of a lot of work, but oh my God, this is well worth the wait for it. This is custom A-pillar that actually allows for the housing of what's called an Audison Thesis tweeter. That is an incredible tweeter. If you want to listen, to an Audison Thesis tweeter, come by, book an audio consultation, I'll sit you in my car, you can listen to it yourself and hear and appreciate the difference and I bet you would never have heard a car like it. In terms of this component, those higher frequencies are very, very directional. So this is the passenger side tweeter location on the custom A-pillar. So this is actually the factory panel itself from the vehicle. What we actually do to make this happen and make this work, obviously this isn't the finished product, this is yet to be dressed but to give you an idea we want to show you the raw basically what goes on behind the scenes and to get it to this stage which is the real bit of hard work the actual Audison Thesis tweeter will be sat right directly in here and this sits into the A-pillar and then the Audison Thesis tweeter is a lot more directional to the interior of the vehicle and sonically those higher frequencies are going to perform a lot lot better and the sound stage is going to be really really nice to make this actually happen, we use a couple of different elements. We use fiberglass, we use matting. We also use 3D printed elements to actually go through and create this, as well as using lasers to actually look at exactly where the tweeter is gonna be directing sound through as well. In terms of actually behind the scenes, behind the A-pillar, this is actually housed in a uh, 3D printed ring of the size of an Audison Thesis tweeter. Why do we print anything to go into an A-pillar? Well, basically we can go through, print that and actually embed that into the design of the actual A-pillar itself, allowing for then the Audison Thesis tweeter to go straight in, be secured in from behind. But also one thing to note as well, we've actually done it in such a way where all of the factory clip points and fixings are fully retained. So you've actually got no loss of security from that A-pillar going back onto the vehicle and everything is retained. Plus obviously the system is still reversible. If we wanted it, obviously reverse the system completely, return this Lamborghini Euros completely back to stock. That is fully achievable. What we actually do is just buy a new set of A-pillars and put them and these get removed. And then obviously your Audison Thesis tweeter is also retained. A massive, massive difference when you put an Audison Thesis tweeter in a car, but also when you put it on Axis, like we're doing on this Euros, it's gonna sound insane. You might be thinking, why are we customizing an A-pillar on a Lamborghini Urus? There's actually two reasons for this. First reason is to build on axis, basically. So the component itself that we're gonna be installing can provide a far better soundstage and actually be more directed to the driver rather than the current stock location, which is in the corner of the dashboard. And the second reason is to house this. This is the Audison Thesis tweeter. It's an absolutely incredible component. You can see just by the size of this thing is like pretty much the same size as my palm here is absolutely incredible a couple of things about this component and about this vehicle this deals with all of those higher frequencies which is a far far more directional sound in a vehicle that's why putting on axis is so vital to getting an inch perfect sound if you're investing into the Audison thesis range it's so imperative that we do this and it sounds absolutely incredible whenever we do just like we did in Wilfred Zaha's Lamborghini Aventador as well as Shmi 150's SLS Black Series they sound absolutely amazing when you're installing levels of equipment like this but We've not just settled to that, we've customized the actual component itself. So this is the Audison Thesis tweeter. However, they don't come in Lamborghini orange. We've actually customized this tweeter, gone for a black and the pearlescent orange design. This is an exact match from the car over actually onto the tweeter itself. So they look 
absolutely incredible and they're gonna blend so nicely into the interior. Obviously there's lots of elements of orange in the interior as well, so it's gonna blend in really, really nicely. These are gonna go into a Milano black custom A-pillar, as well as on the back of it, what we've actually cloth taped the actual connections wiring that it's got going into the actual unit itself. But we've also added our XT60 connector as well. The reason why we've used the connector is so the A-pillars can be removed, plus the tweeter can be removed at any time, and it's all very serviceable as well as a reversible install as well. But they look absolutely incredible and I'm sure they're gonna sound insane when they're in the car. You saw earlier on in today's video, the actual raw element of a custom A-pillar and now we're ready to put it in the vehicle. And we wanna show a little bit more because this is no easy task to do. In terms of this, this is a 3D printed fiberglass mold that we've made, as well as the fact we've actually got a little contour here. What that is designed for is for sound waves to travel from the tweeter directly, a lot more accurately into the actual cabin of the vehicle, directly to myself where I'm sitting in the passenger seat, as well as over to the driver as well to build a really nice acoustic environment. The other thing that we've done on this, and you might be thinking, obviously, we have modified the Lamborghini panel, but this is still reversible. All we need to get in order into reverse the system is actually a new A-pillar, and we can take this one off and put it back on. And the reason why we've done that is because we've retained all of the factory clip points behind here to allow for access to clip back onto factory position, no rattles, resonations, but also this is all retrimmed as well in Milano black, so it looks phenomenal. And we've got something very special to go into here in terms of the Autosynthesis tweeter to match in with the dashboard. The other thing is the system is completely removable as you would have seen in previous videos. We're using XT60 connectors to be able to quick release connector the actual A-pillar from the vehicle as well as the actual component itself. So really nice, easy to use system that can be reversed as well. Hopefully you guys at home have enjoyed today's video. You've learned a lot more about custom A-pillars, the Audison Thesis tweeter, mounting it into a non-stock location, but still in a reversible way. Thank you so much for watching. Remember guys, please don't forget to like, share this video with friends and family, and also check out the previous videos that we've done. Link for that is up here, as well as in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you all very soon.